Hi, I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com, and this is Get Organized, a series of weekly articles and videos about organization and technology. This week we're going to be looking at digitizing a recipe collection. Over the years I've tried a number of different ways for organizing and maintaining a digital recipe collection, and the solution I've come across that works the best is Evernote. I'll explain some of the pros and cons of using Evernote, and also kind of show you how it works. On my screen now is the Evernote Mac app, but there's apps for pretty much any platform that you have. Now you can see that it's very customizable. I just changed the view, and this is one of the pros of the program, is that you can really shape it the way that you want. I'm going to flip through a couple of these recipes just so you can see that they're not at all uniform, and they really don't have to be in Evernote. This one I clipped from the web. Here's one that I copied from a blog. And here's one that I just shot with my iPhone camera. Now let's just switch back to the web app version just so it's a uniform look for anybody else who's not on a Mac. So here I've got a handwritten recipe for brownies. I've just shot this using my iPhone and uploaded it to Evernote. And by default it goes into an inbox folder. That's where all my new notes go until I can deal with them. So now I'm going to categorize it into the folder I actually want, which is called Recipes, colon, Sweets and Baking. And I'm going to give it a title, Brownies. That makes sense. Next, I'm going to add some tags. Tags are exactly what they sound like. They help you find groups of recipes that have something similar. So when it's all said and done, it looks something like this. Now let's look at the Evernote Web Clipper. This is just a free plugin, and when you install it, it shows up as a little icon in the upper right corner of your browser. And all it does is save the content from a web page into a new Evernote note. This is probably the fastest way to centralize all those recipes that you have saved as bookmarks and make them searchable. You just go to the page that you want, hit the web clipper icon, and you can select either the entirety of the page or just the URL or just a certain amount of text that you want to save into Evernote. Sometimes you don't necessarily want to clip an entire page. So here's an example of a video I want to reference. All I really need is the link to it and maybe a few notes or tags about what it is. So the web clipper actually has options for that and that's what I'm going to do here. While that's working, let me just point out one of the cons of using Evernote for recipes. And that's that you can't export a recipe to a shopping list. That's something you will find, though, in typical recipe saving apps. One feature Evernote does have, though, is the ability to share recipes really easily. You can share them with specific people or just make a public link. The article that comes with this video has a lot more tips on how to set this up, and it also has some alternatives if you decide you don't want to use Evernote for your recipe collection. For PCMag.com, I'm Jill Duffy helping you stay organized. You can email me anytime at jill underscore duffy at PCMag.com.